Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about building skills on the Raspberry Pi. Now, if you've been following me on YouTube, a few weeks ago, I posted a video called How to Make an Amazon Echo from a Raspberry Pi. So I will put a link to it below if you're interested in watching that video. So one of the questions I got from that video was, hey, can I build a skill for the Amazon Echo on a Raspberry Pi? Now, short answer, yes. Now, I wasn't really clear as to if they wanted to actually build the entire skill on the Raspberry Pi or if they just wanted to test the skill that they had already built on the Echo version of their Raspberry Pi or if they just wanted to test the skill they already built on the Raspberry Pi Echo that they built already. Two different answers to two different questions. Now, if the question was, hey, I want to I've already built a skill and I want to test it and I don't own an Amazon Echo, can I test it on my homemade Raspberry Pi Echo? And short answer, yes. Um, would I recommend that you do that? Um, sure, you can do that. There's an easier way to do that and I'll show you that right now. You can go to echosim.io and you can test your skill there. And that's the recommended, if you look at the Amazon resources, that's the recommended way of testing your skill. So that is a lot easier than going through the trouble, if you don't own an Amazon Echo, going through the trouble of building an Amazon Echo on a Raspberry Pi and then testing it um, on there. You can just build your skill and then test it on echosim.io. So that, just want to save you a couple steps there. All right. So if the question was, hey, I want to build the skill, I want to you know, code the skill in on the Raspberry Pi and submit it to Amazon, yes, you can do that. Would I recommend that? No. Before I go any further in this whole skill thing, what is a skill? A skill is sort of like an app from the App Store. Let me show you that right now. This is one of the skills that I built that has been approved by the Amazon Skill Store. Alexa. Launch Alphabet Food. Welcome to Alphabet Food. You can ask a question like, what foods start with the letter A? What foods start with the letter A? Foods that begin with the letter A, apple, apple jelly, apple jacks, asparagus, almonds, abalone, anchovies, apricots, artichokes, avocado, alfalfa sprouts, arugula, angel food cake. There are literally thousands of apps, thousands of skills available on the skill store in your companion app. You don't need to know how to code at all in order to enable these skills. It is as simple as saying, Alexa, enable Tide. I've enabled Tide. Simple as that. So if you just want to use the skills that are available to you, you don't need to be able to know how to program anything. So, but if you are interested in developing skills, if you're a developer, uh, first of all, you need to know how to develop. You need to know at least one of the programming languages that they accept in the Alexa skill store. So you either need to know um, Node.js, Python, or JavaScript JSON in order to be able to do that. So I'm not gonna go into teaching you how to, uh, an entire language. Uh, there's plenty of courses out there uh, for you to learn from, or you can take a class, or you can learn in school, so go for that. I, I wouldn't even say that the skill, Alexa skill is gonna teach you, this is a good learning tool to learn how to program in any of these languages either. I would say you really kinda need to know how to program these languages, one of these languages, before you embark on this journey. It is fun to make skills. I have three skills approved right now. Uh, so if you want to check them out, I'll link to it below as well. Um, now, my understanding is uh, for people who do develop, a lot of uh, Python developers like to develop on the Raspberry Pi because it saves you from messing up your real computer. So that way you have an isolated environment to try out stuff. Um, I wouldn't say that's the same for developing a skill for the Amazon store. What I'm going to show you in this tutorial is using the tutorials that have been provided by Amazon to create a skill and you'll see that there's no compiling. There's really very, very little risk of messing up your regular computer, your good computer, with trying to develop a skill. 
So I would, I would just recommend just use your regular computer and use the tutorials that they have to do it. Now if you really want to do it, I'll show you a few steps on how to do it and I'll show you the kind of limitations on uh, writing code uh, for the Alexa, for the skill store using a Raspberry Pi as well. Welcome to my Raspberry Pi. This is the desktop of my Raspberry Pi right here. And so I'm going to show you doing everything on the Raspberry Pi, how to create a custom skill. Now, first of all, would I recommend doing this on the Raspberry Pi? No. And you'll see why as I go through this, as the as I'm going to do this in JavaScript, and it doesn't require any comp it doesn't require you to compile the code. So there's really no danger in doing something to your good computer. So I would just recommend doing this on a Windows or a Mac computer. I think that would work a little bit better than what you're gonna see here. But um, just to go on with the demo, here we go. So in order to create a skill, you need to have a Amazon developer account. So you need to go to developer.amazon.com right here. And um, you need to have a sign in, create all that. that it's really self-explanatory, so I'm going to skip over that. I'm just going to go ahead and sign in right here. And now we're signed in, and I'm going to click on Alexa. And then get started Alexa Skills Kit. First of all, I would recommend reading the tutorials that they provide to you. So first of all, there's the Getting Started with Alexa Skills Kit and then creating an AWS Lambda function for a custom skill. So I'd recommend reading both of these. So here is getting started with the Alexa Skills Kit, and it talks about the different types of skills that you can create here. Uh, next, I'm gonna go to creating an AWS Lambda function for a custom skill right here. And then I would recommend reading all this information as well. Uh, and this is all in addition to you already knowing how to uh, code in one of the languages that they accept. So I think that it says they accept you can code in Python, Node.js, or JavaScript. Now what I'd like to point out, um, starting right here, is that uh, they provide samples. So all of the skills that I've gotten approved, that I've worked on, are all in JavaScript because the samples were in JavaScript. For me, the easiest way is just to look at some samples and then kind of work from there. So I'm going to click on uh, getting the samples, getting the source code. So it is all in their GitHub repository. So the JavaScript samples are in uh, this repository and they are in JavaScript. So I click on that and it takes me over to GitHub and then you can click on samples and you can see they have 10 different samples for you to choose from here. So the easiest thing to do right here is just to click, is just to download all of the samples all at once. This will save you from having to do each one, one at a time. We just, you can check out a lot of different code. So this is great. They provide you with all these different samples. So now you've got the zip file here in your downloads folder. All right, what do we do with the zip file? Um, what I would recommend now on your Raspberry Pi is to make sure that you have the latest zip, unzip um, application running. So I'm going to open a terminal. I want to make sure that I've got um, the zip, I can unzip this file correctly. So I'm going to type in sudo apt get install zip unzip. And there we go. We've installed uh, zip and unzip right here. And so I should be able to um, extract this file. So where do I want to extract it to? I'm going to extract it to the desktop. How about that? That'll be easy. So we'll go to the desktop. And sure enough, here are our samples. And here are our 10 samples. I'm just going to show you one example right now. I'm going to choose history buff. This is the first one I ever worked with personally. And what you're going to get is you're going to get a readme file. This is really important. This really gives you everything you need to know about creating a skill that's not how to program a JavaScript 
all in one document. So this is literally what I'm going to follow in this tutorial, in my video here. I'm going to, I'm going to do this tutorial right here. So what it shows you that you've got speech assets, sample utterances, intent schema, and then you've got your source files. So the first thing you want to do is take your source files and you want to compress them into a zip file. So we're going to use ar archive type zip. Okay, I'm going to call it uh, sample history buff scale. And I'm going to save this in my desktop under samples. All right, there we go. So I've made, I've got the zip file now. So now we need to go over and create our Lambda skill. And that's all explained right here. So I've got, so the other thing that you need in order to create a skill is you need to have an AWS account. So creating an AWS account is easy peasy. It's really self-explanatory. I'm gonna skip over that right now. What you wanna do is you wanna get into your AWS account. Oh, one more thing about having an AWS account. You need to put down your credit card number in order to have an AWS account. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to a Lambda. These are Lambda functions. And here we are in Lambda, and you wanna create a new Lambda function. And uh, the history skill is a fact skill. So I'm gonna click on Alexa skill kit, and then I'm gonna click next. Then I'm gonna name it. So I'm gonna call this history buff sample skill. And the next thing you need to do is you need to choose an existing role and Lambda basic execution is that existing role. And I'm gonna click next. And I'm gonna create my function. So now that I've created my function, it creates a unique ARN right here. You will need this over in your developer.amazon.com account. So the next thing I need to do is the, the default is edit code in line. No, I want to upload a zip file. What zip file do I want to upload, you ask? I want to upload the zip file I just created. So first I'm going to save. So now I've got my ARN. Now it's time to go back over to my uh, skills kit. I'm going to add a new skill. Okay. So now we're going to give our skill a name. And the invocation name is going to be history buff. But you can make this anything you want. And we're going to select no. Now if you're wondering how I'm doing this, I am just literally just following the instructions in the readme word for word. Uh, now is the intent schema that is in your samples folder in your speech assets intent schema. So we just want to copy and paste. All right, and then sample utterances, same thing. It's right here. Copy and paste that right in. Save, next. Next, they're going to ask you for your Lambda number. So you want to click Lambda, click North America, and then you want to take the Lambda function number, your unique Lambda. Copy this, then go to North America, paste, and next. So under triggers, Alexa skills kit, it's your trigger. Sorry, I missed that when I was setting this up. Do that right now. All right, so that is done now. Save, and now I'm fine. Next. Now, this is actually the testing part. So if you don't have an Alexa, 
you don't have an Amazon Echo, if you don't have anything, you can just test right here. So, just say history book. And uh, it gives you a response. And if you click listen. History buff. What day do you want events for? Type in today. And I'm going to hit listen. For January 13th. In 2012, the passenger cruise ship Costa Concordia sinks off the coast of Italy due to the captain's negligence and irresponsibility. Want to go deeper in history? And that is the skill working on your account right there. Simple enough. So now if you want to, so that is how to set it up. Now, in order to create your own skill, all you have to do is uh, take your code and then um, put in your code and recode this for what you want. But now you know, you understand how to put in a skill into the Amazon Alexa skill store and put it into testing. The drawback in doing it this way is that I had to open this as a text file. So I have the choice of opening as a text editor or LibreOffice Writer, which is kind of their equivalent of Microsoft Word. And so I, I can't see the syntax that you get with Atom or Text Wrangler or Sublime, one of those. If you make a syntax error, you can't see it. That's the challenge of doing this on a Raspberry Pi. And that's why I recommend doing this on, on your regular computer because you didn't have to compile anything. The only thing we had to do was we had to zip these two files into a zip file and then we uploaded it onto our Lambda Manager and really we did, this was all really web-based. So I would just recommend get, get one of those um, JavaScript editors such as Sublime or Atom or Text Wrangler and edit your code that way and then and now you see how simple it is to upload your code once you get done with it. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you found this interesting uh, using the Raspberry Pi to uh, create a skill. Um, so assuming your skill works right here next, if you want to submit it so that everybody can enjoy it, you'll have to fill out this page right here, um, giving them all sorts of information about your skill, and then they'll approve it within a few days, or they'll come back and say, hey, you haven't met the requirements. Um, so anyway, have fun with this. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Hey, thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel.